Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be organizing my life and I thought I would bring you along. So yeah, that's what we're doing. You know, let's just get right into it. Um, so I basically decided that I need to reorganize my life so I can get my routines going and stuff again because I've been, kind of been all over the place lately. And so um, I decided to go with Google Calendar, Google Keep thing um, because I got an iPad recently that I absolutely love. It's been awesome getting to know the tools that it has and like starting to use it. I'm really loving that. So figured because I have an iPhone and an iPad and I use a Mac, why not do it digitally, organize my life so I can always have access to my calendar and what I need to do, my to-do list and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today. And um, I'll kind of show you how to do it. Um, yeah, and I recently got my hair done and I love it. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, anyways, I'm really excited to be posting again now too. A little backstory, when we moved back from Washington, when we moved to Arizona, um, I had posted a few videos and then um, it was kind of like crazy getting our lives back together and then I got a job and I've just been super busy with it ever since so now um, yeah now I'm just trying to refocus in get my life scheduled so I can start posting again because I have so much fun doing this I absolutely love it and so that's what I want to be doing posting YouTube videos TikTok videos um, and just engaging with you guys and doing different stuff like that so I'm really excited and yeah, let's, sorry, don't mean to ramble. I just thought I'd share a little bit of my life right now and I'll get right into it. So first off, I made a list here, a little list just on paper of what I wanted to include in my calendar, um, like my morning routine, my night routine, my work schedule, obviously, um, different YouTube stuff, social media stuff. I separated that just because I wanted to like social media is more like Instagram and maybe TikTok and YouTube is like you just for YouTube just because that's more time consuming and stuff. Anyways, um, me time, family events and cleaning time because I want to schedule that in. I don't know. Anyways, and then I also made um, like two kind of days and listed how I wanted to organize the time. So I did like the days that I work and how I want to set my routine for before and after the, my work schedule. And then also um, obviously my days off where I'm not at work, how I'll kind of manage my time. And of course you can always change things. That's what I love about like Google Calendar is when you add events, you can move them, change them, delete them, add them, take them away at any time. So it's not like just because you schedule something, it's not like you have to do it right at that time. You can always move it around and change things. So I'm really excited to start using this. I hope I actually get um, I hope I'm successful with it. I can't think of the word right now. Like, anyways, yeah, I hope I actually use it and it ben is beneficial to my life. Um, so I'll let you guys know as time goes on and I am actually using the system. Anyways, so, um, first you want to open Google Calendar and sign into your Google account, which I signed in right here. And then, um, you can also open Google Keep if you would like. And I just went ahead and created all my calendars ahead of time. Ahead of time. gosh words today i'm just so excited i'm like rambling um i created all these calendars beforehand so that i didn't waste a bunch of time like doing it on video here but i'll kind of show you how to do that so all these calendars right here um and you can also add i added like new york ginky schedule and you can see everything pops up when i click on that or phases of the moon or the phoenix suns um so i added those because i like them those are my teams and stuff but i don't have them like checked off so they're not showing up all the time anyways so these this other calendar right here this little plus sign you hit plus and create new calendar and then you name it whatever you want right here add a description if you would like um and then hit create calendar and that will create calendar and it'll show up right here and then once you have your calendar here if you hit these little three dots you can choose a color for it and also, um, you can, um, if I just click on one, oh, settings. So like my night routine, it shows right here. In my description, I wrote um, kind of what my night routine is. So you can do that with your different calendars that you make. Um, but yeah, like I said, I did that before here because I don't wanna waste a bunch of time just like adding all these calendars. So I added one for my cleaning schedule like when I have to do chores and stuff at the house, dinner, family time, me time, which is like anything personal. So like relaxing, um, self-care, that kind of stuff. 
watching TV movies and stuff. Just like, you know, hanging out, being me. Morning routine, night routine. Um, so this reminders is linked to Google Keep, which is the other Google app that has like all your notes and stuff. And you can actually find that on the right side here, this little tab. Um, you can hide it and open it. But at the top, that little yellow light bulb is Google Keep and it has notes. So I have both my routines um, in task list kind of written out like that. Um, so that's where reminders, if I set a schedule on those, then it'll show up in reminders. So that's why, um, sorry, I'm like really bad at explaining this. All these check marks show in your calendar. So as you see, my papa's birthday is gonna disappear when birthdays aren't shown. So this is just like how you view it. So all the stuff in your calendar, if you add it in your calendar, it'll always stay there. Um, this is just view for viewing. So if you just wanna see what you have scheduled for a certain event, you can unclick all the other boxes. Um, and then I have social media, which like I said before, is just for like Instagram posts or TikTok stuff, that kind of jazz. Um, tasks, I think is linked to Google Tasks, which I don't know a ton about, but I'm pretty sure it's just like another Google thing that you can add like tasks to do. Um, work for my work schedule and YouTube for like uploading, editing, scheduling, um, content, recording content. So anyways, those are the calendars that I've made. And so I'm going to start scheduling them here. So I'm going to start with my morning routine tomorrow. Or actually, let me add my work schedule in for this week first so I can do it by my days off and my days on. So I know this week I have to work um, all weekend. So I will be at work from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. And then um, this is how you change your calendar. So right now it's on Talicia Stone Street. So that is one of my emails. Um, so you can also, what's cool about Google Calendar, if you get emails, you can add, like there's so many cool things you can do. I'm not gonna like get into all that today because I don't really use, like I'm not that crazy where I have like emails with all these scheduled events coming to me. But if you have like a flight or something and you get your Google confirmation in your email, um, it can automatically upload it to your calendar for you. So that's like, there's cool things like that. Um, so then I'm gonna choose uh, work. So it's under my work calendar and that's the color it'll show up. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and save. And you could also add a place. Um, I'm not going to add a place right now, but if you wanted to, you can add a location. Um, so that's also a really cool thing. So I'm gonna add my other two work schedules. Oh yeah, right here. So you can add a location, you can add a description or attachment. So like if it was a meeting or something, you can add like an email or documents and description of what you have to do. So that's pretty cool as well. Add an event, go to morning routine, add a time. So since this is my day off, I wrote down on my little schedule here, I want to wake up at 8 a.m. and have three hours. Um, I'm gonna be doing a morning routine video soon. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share that with you guys. So we're gonna hit where it says do not repeat. We're gonna hit daily. And then what we're gonna do here, so we'll hit save on my work days. Oops, I'm gonna hit edit. And we're gonna change the time to 5.30. And that'll go to eight. So we just wanna do this event and I'll have to do it on the three work days that I have left this week. So if you did all events or this and following events, it would change the time on all of them. Um, but since I don't have next week's schedule where I will be working, I'm gonna leave them all like that and I can change them as I add my work schedule next week. So then I'm gonna add my night routine since that's gonna be another reoccurring event. So let's add it for tomorrow. Night routine. We're gonna put it under night routine, shocker. <laughs> um, and then we'll add a time and that's perfect. I have to hit that it repeats daily and my night routine actually lines up the same on both days as a work day and non-work day so that works out perfectly because it'll be the same every single night and so i have that added so then i'm gonna go through and schedule my days off these are very like 
movable. This is just a general idea of how I would like my ideal day to go. So don't think that I'm like a perfect person that's like schedule every second and stick to it. Yeah, no, this is me trying to organize my life and like get it together. So, and then of course my night routine's already on there. So that's like what my day off is gonna look like. And I wish I could show you, oh, this is in the month view. So if you go to week, weekly view, look at how cool that looks. So it has all your tasks in there. Um, and like I said, you can move anything around. So that just changes the time there. Um, and so these days it probably would have been easier rather than type it in since I have it every day. Um, next week when I go to change them, let me go to, how do I go to the next week on, oh, <laughs> the little arrow right here. So if I go like the, to this day, so next week when I get my work schedule, all I have to do is drag it up and hit for this event only. So that'll be a lot easier once they're added in there daily. It's a lot easier to move around and work with stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much um, how I'm gonna do it. Obviously I still have to add the events for the next day. It's a learning process. I'm just trying to be more organized and so I'll probably, um, yeah, just fill in the rest of my week here and get that put together. So another thing uh, with Google Keep, you can like, um, add different notes so you can right here just take a note like if you knew you needed something for work or whatever and you can um, label those as well and color code them so that's a really cool feature um, and like I said I love how this just I can use on any device so on my iPad it's really easy to work with I can take notes and put different tasks on there as well to get done let me know if you have any other tips or tricks for Google Calendar and Google Keep. I'm definitely new to it and I would love to hear about it as I'm trying to organize my life with this system. Um, it's really awesome, it's free, so anybody can use it as long as you have a Gmail account and internet and a device to use it on. Um, so that's really awesome. I love that they offer that because it seems really cool so far, so I'm excited. I'll let you know how it goes and Hopefully soon I will get a morning and evening routine um, recorded for you guys. I just want to, now that I'm like getting more organized, I want to, like I have a lot of stuff that I've been doing in my routine, but now that I'm kind of trying to be more organized in it, I want to make sure that I'm doing it before I like show you guys like this is my morning routine because I want it to be genuine. I don't want to just be like do this awesome morning routine and then not really be doing it. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.